Hello everybody, it's me, Sports Talk Guy. And in this episode, we're here to get back a little bit on track, get away from some of the controversial topics, and a voice about our opinions about normal, more related topics. Today we're here to talk about the Houston Texans and the fact that they have the number one overall pick in the NFL draft. A lot of talk going around. Plenty of plenty of analysts all over have they're all over the board, really, the Texans and these analysts. I've maybe at most two analysts agree, really, on who the Texans should take first. Really, to me, it's down to two players who the Texans should really take first. Either Jadavian Clowney or Johnny Manziel. Clowney, the defensive end. Manziel, the quarterback. Who do you got? Simple. Um, there's one who I really think they should take, and one I see why you take them, but... I feel like you shouldn't. And let's let's talk about this. Here's why you should take Jadavian Clowney. Jadavian Clowney is by far probably the most athletic player in this draft. He is a defensive end who runs about a four he runs a four five three, has an insane vertical, he's so fast and he's so strong. Granted his bench in the combine, his reps were weak, but the weight is strong. And his speed is enough to definitely help him get around linemen, and he's helped he, and use that explosiveness on the offensive line. And imagine this. You have the Texans run a 3-4 defense. A 3-4 defense is three linemen, four linebackers. Just imagine this. You're f on that front, you have Watt, who's the best defensive end in football, and you have Jadavion Clowney, who is the best college defensive end in football coming up to the NFL. And then behind them, in the linebacking core, you have Brian Cushing, who's one of the best linebackers in football. And now, granted, what struggled last year for the Texans was their offense. But granted, Matt Schaub sucked, and Aaron Foster was hurt. While Andre Johnson had one of the best years he's had recently, staying majority uh, had... I can't speak. Andre Johnson was healthy for a majority of the season... And DeAndre Hopkins came on to his own as a young wide receiver that could definitely be the number two to Andre Johnson. And Owen Daniels definitely had a good year for a tight end. And now you're saying, well, Harry Foster healthy, Johnny Manziel, that could be a good combination, right? Sure as hell can. But on the defense side of the ball, while Watt did get, always gets pressure and always will, and Brian Cushing could do anything as a linebacker, I feel like they just need that more help on defense. And while it wasn't really the front seven that struggled, it was their secondary. But now you got rid of Ed Reed's contract anyways, and you could go out and buy some players. I just like Clowney more because now, also, I also like Case Keenum. And uh, don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of Johnny Manziel's. I like him too. But I think Case Keenum, right now, you go, listen, Case Keenum was, I forget what um, division he played in for football. I forget uh, what, what he was playing in. I where did he go to college? I forgot. He went to Houston for college, I'm pretty sure. And he broke the record for like most passing yards and most passing touchdowns. And I get he was... It was a crappier division of college football. I get that. And I get if he played against the SEC, probably wouldn't have done that. But still, this is a guy who's a record breaker at his college. And in my opinion, you need to give Case Keenum the chance and get Matt, Matt Schaub out. His contract isn't worth it. Don't re-sign him. Get Case Keenum. Get him a solid backup veteran. And then get a normal third string. Maybe you take a quarterback in the second round. Maybe you take an A.J. McCarron in the second round, just in case. I do like A.J. McCarron. We went over this a while ago when I made the video for the about the Minnesota Vikings and the Cleveland Browns. But what I what I think Clowney, Clowney just brings more to the table for the Texans. And if the Texans do bad with Case Keenum as their quarterback this year, assuming that's who's the quarterback, then that's okay. If you do bad this year, then you know what you do next year? You go draft who's going to probably be the best quarterback in the draft next year, Marcus Mariota, who probably would have would have been the best quarterback in the draft if he won this year, but he stayed another year, so he'll be the best next year. And maybe if you're not the worst team, you trade up for him, because at this point, what's there to lose, right? So might as well get Clowney. He's arguably the best player in the draft, especially he'd make a perfect fit for the Texans. I don't see why the Texans don't take him. And also, there's a little part of me, I like Manziel, but there's a part of me that wants to see Manziel go to the Cleveland Browns, because I think him on the Browns, he could do a lot of work. But that's just me, and we're here to talk about the Texans and what they should take, and that's why.
I'm going with it. Nothing against Johnny Manziel, great quarterback, but that I like Clowney more. Thank you guys for watching this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.